Okay. Hey, yo, it's your boy Static. And today I'm going to tell y'all why this card saved Bird up. Now, the card we got in Phantom Nightmare, Coach Wallace Kari, it's known to be in uh, flu decks, but this can also be used, obviously, in Bird up. Um, and it reads Tribute one Wing Beast monster in your hand or face the field. Add a Wing Beast monster from your deck to your hand with the same level. That's tribute monster had. You can only activate one once per turn. So, why or how does this card save Bird up? Uh, I'm gonna give you three different reasons why this card saved Bird up. Uh, one of the biggest reasons is it's more copies of Warbler. Uh, Warbler, as someone know what the Bird up strategy, it's the best card for your deck. Um, it's the best extender. It's the best starter along with Sparrow. So having more access to Warbler is really important for this deck going first or second. So I'm just going to show here, not only does it get you more copies of Warbler, um, it being a quick play spell also also helps it a lot. So you can do it in the draw phase and you can play around Droll. But in some instances when you're getting Warbler, uh, it's kind of like a self-contained combo because Warbler uh, can spell someone from the hand or the graveyard. So depending on what you sent with Swallows Kari to get the Warbler, Warbler can just activate its effect on special and just bring back what you used to um to get the Warbler. So it really helps. Like Swallows Kari in this scenario, having a uh, Sparrow in your hand or the other one, which is Wagtail, uh, is a, basically the same thing as having Warbler plus Sparrow. And again, Warbler plus Star a Sparrow is a really strong for your combo. So that's one reason. More copies of Warbler. Um, in the past, because again, Warbler is really important for the deck. In the past, people have used other cards like Small World, and they would use Dinotherium as a bridge to always get to Warbler with any card in the hand. Um, people use Pot of Prosperity, which is really strong. And people would also use uh, Jack in a Hand. Problem with Jack in a Hand is you can't guarantee that you'll always get Warbler. In fact, if your opponent knows um, how to play against Bird Up and knows how important Warbler is, they'll almost never allow you to get the Warbler. Um, but yeah, now we don't have to play Pot of Spare anymore. We don't got to play Small World with the Brick, and we don't have to play um, Jack in a Hand. And we'll never, and we're banking and praying that um, our opponent doesn't know what our deck does. So that way we can get Warbler. And we can just play Swallows Kari. And again, this plays around Droll. None of the other three cards I mentioned play around Droll because they're all normal spells. So that's really helpful. So, uh, reason number two why this card is really good. Why this card saved this deck. So, say you have a standard Warbler plus Sparrow combo. You go Warbler, activate effect. Um, hitting Warbler here uh, with Imperm or Veiler is pretty good. Um, there's two spots in the Warbler Sparrow combo where you can hit Imperm Veiler and it's very impactful. Uh, hitting Warbler right here now is very impactful, but thanks to Swallow's Kauri, one being a quick play spell again, and two being able to tribute a monster on the field completely dodges both of them. So right here, you would instead uh, Warbler, get rid of it with Swallows Kari, add something you were going to get anyway with Sparrow. Spell to summon the Sparrow same way, and then Sparrow will still trigger, getting you Wagtail, and then you just combo normally from here. So I think being able to play around Imperm and Veiler, again, when, um, that is a very vulnerable point in the combo is very strong. I'm just going to play this combo out just to show that even though I had to dodge the Veiler and Imperm with the Swallows Kari, uh, Swallows Kari being able to search for a piece I needed to get anyway still allows this to be like full combo. So it's still very much like a self-contained combo. Like you don't need extra extenders or nothing just to play past uh, the Imperm or Veiler because Swallows Kari was uh, the thing that you needed to extend past it. So again, that is the first spot you can uh, get Veiler Imperm the combo. 
the second spot which people used to do back when this deck was relevant um so they would war so as a bird player you would warbler warbler effect your opponent goes that fine uh your opponent goes that's fine to the sparrow getting the swallow you make the starling starling effect you'll get the wagtail here again the fact your opponent can't even imprimer veil of this anyway because it was made with sparrow and it can't be uh targeted at the very moment so from here swallow's effect summon itself swallow wagtail wagtail's effect gonna search for bird call make the second starling starling effect gonna get you a nerve and then from here you're gonna take your two starlings make the utopic future and then you are going to make the utopic draco future now from here you have to waste your normal summon here because uh you've exhausted pretty much your entire layerless engine so from here you're going to activate nerve effect you're going to banish four so that we can get the omen and that way you can get to more searching um like this is the second spot in the deck that's really good to uh valor or imperm yes um if you're playing against bird up you did allow your opponent to get to the utopic draco future but if you imperm or valor here depending on what the rest of their hand is and there's only like a few extenders that help you keep playing but it's not like half of the deck can let can allow them to keep playing they actually like us uh, uh some specific cards so if you imperm valor here and they don't have any of the specific extenders they need they'll just pass and then on your turn you have five cards in your hand and you only have to play against one monster in a game it's pretty doable especially in this day and age so from here again same concept as um you just tributing off the warbler you'll just tribute off the nerval here and you'll just get sparrow now this actually is pretty important so I'm going to explain this part of the combo a little bit again, just to show that um, you don't really need any other extenders outside of the Swallows Kari. This is just all this, all the combo you needed. So once you play past the Imperm Veiler, uh, Omen's going to come out. New Chain Nerval is going to trigger. Nerval is going to get you Keras. Now from here, you're going to activate Bird Call. It doesn't matter what you search, but for follow-up purposes, uh, you're going to get Warbler. Now, all you want to do, all you want to make sure is that you get something that's not Sparrow. So that way you can um, add this to hand and then use Bird Call's second effect, which is supposed to summon a uh, Lairless from your hand that doesn't have the same name as the card you either added or you sent. So from here, you're going to summon the Sparrow out your hand, and then those two is going to be your Farajit. And then Ohm is going to be able to trigger now. And at this point, it's almost as if you didn't get Valid or Imperm. So here in the exact, you're in the exact same spot you were in the last combo. So again, I'm just going to just play this part out. But yeah, um, the deck now having its own version of like, uh, Savara just to dodge Valor Imperm is pretty strong. So the last thing I want to show is how, depending on what's with the Swallows Kari, this plus any bird honestly is um full Trabrigade combo. So from here again, because it's a quick play spell. Uh oh, you're supposed to do that in draw phase, but it doesn't really matter for this uh scenario. So you're going to send any bird in your hand. So like, say like if you don't have um, Sparrow or Wagtail to combo with your Warbler, you'll just send this to get Nerval. From here, you're going to Nerval summon the Nerval. Now, this is pretty important because not many people play the card in the extra deck. Excuse me, just because um the extra deck is very tight. So you might not have space for it, but I think because of Swallow's Kari, because of how good it is, I think you need to find a space for it. And that is Lightheart. So from here, you're going to link both of them off for your Farajit. Nerval is going to trigger, uh, get Kit. 
Uh, from here, you're gonna Farage it effect. Farage is gonna summon the kit. Uh, kit effect, you're gonna banish two. You're gonna bring out your bear broom. And then you're gonna link all these three off for Appaloosa. A 2400 Appaloosa. And then from here, you can chain block uh, however you want. You just wanna make sure that um, bear broom is the first thing you do. The chain block is really important that you get revolt. You really don't care about the Farajit draw, or if you want, you could also trigger the kit too. So that way you can go chain link one, bear broom, chain link two, Farajit, chain link three, kit, and that way you'll get the bear broom and the Farajit draw. But um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So again, Swaz Kari. Pretty good in this deck. Mandatory three of in the deck. Uh, it's more copies of Warbler. Uh, help you dodge Valor and Imperm in very important parts of your combo. And this plus any level one bird is just Oppo Revo. So like it's full Tribal Gate combo for you. Uh, card's good. Card makes the deck good. Um, also very small honorable mention because it can get any level one bird. You can also grab DD Crow, which is actually really good in um certain matchups but yeah that's it uh, thank you for watching uh questions comments concerns put them in the comments down below and yeah go play tribal